Hello, I'm Tom Dale and I'm from Imagix. I'm the head of the customer success team here at Imagix. And today I'd like to talk a bit about Imagix JS. Uh, specifically, I really wanted to do just a quick and fun example that takes an image gallery with some heavy images and quickly moves it into a lightweight image gallery with responsive design. So let me go ahead and start that off today with you. So I already have, uh, I'm going to open this up here, just a very simple image gallery. You can see how slow it was to load, right? It's loading straight out of my Amazon CloudFront bucket. Um, I've gone ahead and let me show you what I did here. Every image is essentially being resized using the CSS. Most of the stuff is just for the mobile menu here. Here we go. So I've, the images are showing up at 300, 300. And then when it goes mobile, it's going to be uh, bigger in a double column here. Um, yep, there we go. And you can see it's very simple. I got the, the nav bar right here, and then I have the images listed here. And all out of a pu public bucket, I put in uh, AWS. So uh, let's go ahead and think about how I would uh, convert this to something else, right? So first, I'm going to just show you how bad this page is. So I know you saw it load in slow, but let's go to, go to the network here. And refresh this, and uh, you can see how low, slow it's going, right? Here's the weight. This is literally just images, like there is nothing else here. You pull up just the image weight, there you go, 70.5. That's it's pretty heavy. <laughs> If you take the images here, you can see that uh, they're not even resized. They're just straight. I took a picture of my phone and that's what they are. So thinking about how I'm gonna take that and move that to ImageXJS, let's go ahead and uh, do that here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna save this as, and I'm gonna put it in this one here. All right. And then in a second tab, I'm going to go ahead and open that one. All right. So first, I'm going to go ahead and just add the script. Type. text uh, JavaScript, and then we got a source. It's going to be flying straight out of my ImageX account here. Uh, you can actually store uh, non-image assets here as well. It is going over through a CDN. It's good. Uh, ImageX, uh, I guess. Go ahead and have a look to see what this is. There you go. So I'm just gonna link that right in here. The way I'm gonna activate that is actually change the source tag to an IX dash source tag. Uh, let's go ahead and change this to, to ImageX uh, uh, with ImageX.js. All right, let's just do a mass replace here. So I'm just gonna replace this part. I'm going to replace it with ix dash source. And then I'm going to use my imagex URL. And uh, that's it. There we go. Next, at the end, I'm just going to add some uh, quick parameters here to make it a little better. So let's do dot JPEG and replace it with dot JPEG question, auto equals format compress. So this is gonna automatically change uh, the format of the image based on what browser it's looking at. So WebP and Chrome would be a great example. Um, it'll also switch to progressive JPEG and other browsers and, and make a lot of other smarter decisions. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make the color space profile slightly smaller and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just 
crop the image as well. And that should be it. There we go. Um, ooh. One thing else I want to do actually is uh, at the end, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crop, let's replace that. I wanna add a sizes uh, element here. So I'm gonna add this and then put sizes equals. And here's where I wanna kind of let the browser know what kind of image I'm gonna have, what image size I need, because this IX source is gonna generate a ton of bunch of different versions of the source set, right? So just kind of looking at what I'm doing here with my design, I have max width 1240. I'm for max width 1240, it's width 50%, right? So let's go ahead and put a width 50 VW. So that's 50% of the viewport width of the browser is what size the image should be. And then for everything else, it should just simply be, uh, 300. So anything larger than 1240, make the image 300. All right, let's go ahead and add that. Oh, shoot, I have messed up and I need to add, uh, I'm supposed to put uh, something at the end there. Generate PX. There we go. That's going to make it way better. All right. So I think I've already done it. Let's, uh, let's see what we get. Come back over here. I'm gonna refresh it. And now let's see what size we're gonna get. Now you can see already when I'm inspecting, you can see it's generating all these different versions of the image, right? But this sizes parameter is telling it, hey, I want a 300 pixel image. Uh, and you can see it's loading the, the width three equals 28 image in this example, because that's the closest uh, to the 300 without going over. Uh, so let's pull up the network here. 626 kilobytes. Um, one thing I'm noticing here is that they're not all rectangle anymore, right? Like over here they were, or I mean square. And uh, I know one thing I did wrong as well. So let's quickly fix that. This is how easy it is just to fix something, right? And, and the parameters infect them all. So where I've done crop, I'm gonna go ahead and do crop and AR11. So I want the aspect ratio to be one to one. There we go. Let's try this again, even better. So, so it's literally generating them automatically on the fly that quickly, right? And now we can see even how, you know, 680 kilobytes. It's amazing. Again, going back to this other one over here. Forever, 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 70 megabytes, right? Like, <laughs> it's just that quick bit of code was able to change it. Are we done? Are we done? Whew, there we go. Here's another fun kind of thought. You might think, oh, these are a lot bigger images, but over here, you've now made them uh, smaller images, right? Well, the real question, yep, see, there you go. The question is, I even think that, that is, is the quality much worse, right? And as I go back and forth, I'm not noticing any difference. No visual disparity at all. So there you have it. Uh, quick way, take an entire image gallery, move it from 70 megabytes to 600 kilobytes in, you know, a minute. I hope that was useful for everyone and uh, excited to see how you guys use the library. And obviously there's so many more things you could do with it. That was just the most basic idea. And, and I hope, you know, it helps garner some ideas of what you could do and, and how to improve your websites. So it was great uh, sharing this with all of you. Bye-bye.